Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're coming over here from the collaboration, I am so happy to have you. Now, I love this um, idea that Tony over at Kettle Kitchen and Blue at Blue Self Reliance came up with, Jar It Up July. There are so many things you can put in a jar and it didn't even have to be food. They said you could put buttons or make a craft item. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to make for the holidays or just any time of year. And you know how if you've seen those cookie mixes in a jar or brownie mixes, I'm gonna show you how to make a s'mores bars in a jar. And we don't need to toast it over the campfire or anything. It'll taste exactly like a s'more, um, but you just bake it in the oven and you layer it in the jar and it looks really pretty. Um, so it'll be fun. Now, you guys, you have to go and watch everybody else's videos because they are gonna be doing a giveaway on August 4th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I know they're giving away a lot of like canning supply type stuff and I'm not sure what else, but the way you can win is if you go to everybody's channel and watch their Jar It Up July video and make a comment on their video and you'll be automatically entered to win. So I'll li list everybody in my description box who is participating. So with that said, let's get started. You're gonna need a quart size jar with a lid, some graham crackers, some mini marshmallows, some mini chocolate chips, or you can use regular chocolate chips. I just happen to have the mini, and some melted butter, and some brown sugar. Now go ahead and smash your graham crackers and you want them to be about this size but if you also have some crumbs with it that's no problem and then you're just going to layer those into the bottom of the jar and that is going to be one and a half cups then go ahead and take your one and a half cups of mini marshmallows now if i had to do this over you guys i would put the mini marshmallows at the very top but um, that's okay, so you guys do it at the top. And then just put in your chocolate chips and your brown sugar underneath the marshmallows, and um, you're just gonna layer everything up. Now, it's gonna seem like it won't fit, but just kinda keep smushing it down, and it will all fit. Now see, the, if the marshmallows were on top, they would've made it easier to squish down and put the lid on. And then you can just put whatever kind of little fancy top you want on there with a ribbon. And then I'm gonna show you how to make it. They're just gonna dump out the jar into a bowl and then you're gonna melt your one stick of butter. And then you're just gonna pour it over everything. Then just go ahead and give it a nice stir so everything's really evenly coated. Now I'll have the exact amounts in the description box. And of course I had to taste it. <laughs> now you wanna spray a square pan very well with some baking spray or you can line it with parchment paper. And then I put the, the um, stuff in there and then I just took a spoon and I just kind of smashed it down so it'll be more compact. All right, and then you're gonna bake it for 15 minutes at 350 and it comes out like this. Now the important thing is you have to let it cool or they won't cut really well into uh, bars. But after it's completely cool, they look like this. Okay guys, my official taste tester is back. And here it is, I cut a slice for him. So what is this? This is a s'more bar. It's like a campfire s'more, but you don't have to toast the marshmallows over a campfire. But I need it has a... all the same ingredients. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. It's a. It's not quite cool enough yet, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh my oh, goodness! Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does it taste like some more? Good. Without burning my face. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thumbs up from Chris. Hope you guys will give this a try. Print the instructions on a cute little tag, and I'll have those in the description box.